30 years ago. I asked you to meet me underneath the cherry tree at Shocker Park. This young lady walked around for 30 minutes looking for a cherry tree at a softball field. When we finally did meet up, and she's like, there's no cherry trees. I was like, okay, this one might be the, the last one I ever want to see again. Because she put up with my corny jokes. I got her walking around for no reason. Beverly, I love you to death. These last three years have been so awesome. I told you when we first got together, I don't think we would ever say I do. Man, I'm so happy that we are here today to say I do. You are beautiful, and I love you. Amen. <laughs> I don't know many of you know that we actually met online, and um, I'd been looking online for a while, and I eventually said to God, I was like, I really need a soulmate. If I'm supposed to find my soulmate, please let me be there the next morning. And um, I prayed, and the next morning when I woke up, Mike was on the other side, on the other one. And um, we just knocked it off from there. And we have been through many, many trials, many, many tribulations already in the last three years that we've been together. I promise to stand by your side in sickness and in health. You skip me. I promise to you. <laughs> Let him say that. Cherish you forever. And no matter what the situation is or what the trials are, I will always be by your side. And I will be there until we bury each other in the ground or until you make me into Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Carl. That's what I want to be when I die.
and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Nolan.